member of the committee, a former FBI man from the great state of Michigan, Mr. Rogers, for one minute. Gentlemen's recognized for one minute. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. There are huge consequences to the 85 percent of Americans who have earned their health care in this bill. Not only will they get longer wait times, more expensive premiums, but at the end of that, with new debt, some $1.5 trillion in new spending, 18 million Americans won't have coverage. But more importantly, there will be another victim. There is nothing more sacred than the bond between a mother and a child, that trust, that love, that nurturing when that child is sick. And when a mother goes to the doctor under that 2,000-page bill, that relationship that they enjoy between their patient and their doctor and what that mother wants for that child is no longer sacred. Because now, through the 118 different boards and commissions, their comparative effectiveness research allows the federal government, through forced government insurance, to ration and deny care. You have violated the most important trust, the most important thing that we have in the building block and the foundation of the values of this country. That mother, that doctor, knows what's best for that child. You will find no compassion in a federal bureaucracy. Mr. Speaker, I would urge the strong rejection and the protection of that bond between doctor and patient and mother and child.